Hello, it's Carolyn from the Purple Poncho. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cute necklace and it's crocheted with beads. So I will show you how to make this. This is about 18 inches when you measure it from end to end. I like to use a needle that opens up and you can stick your thread in there. See how it opens? So you can put your the end of your uh, yarn in there or your cotton. So you just stick it in there. Give yourself a little room, a little tail, and then close it back up. And you string your beads on like this before you begin. And what you do is I like to buy my beads that are already on a string and then I find it easier to string them on to my my working thread this way rather than if they're in a bag or something okay so I just grab probably four to five beads in my hand like that and then I take my needle and I just work it through and we're going to string on about 110 beads you can do any color you like any order you like and these are size uh, 6 beads, seed beads and you just string these on till you have about 110 of them onto your working thread. And once we get all the beads onto our thread, then I will show you what to do next. So to begin, I'm using a size one hook and I'm going to leave a little tail. Place a slip knot on my hook. And I'm just going to chain two to begin. And I'm going to bring some of the beads closer to my needle or my hook. And I'm going to slide a bead down. And I'm going to chain. I'm going to chain one. Slide a bead down, chain one, chain, slide the bead down, and chain. You see how that's forming? So pretty. So it's chain and then chain with the bead. Chain, chain with the bead. And I'm trying to keep all the chains the same size so my tension is all the same. And the beads are actually sit like they're sitting on top of the work. So for example, if I did a chain with a bead that's loose. Okay, let me loosen up my tension here a little bit. If I do a loose chain, the bead would pop through and kind of be and then let me do a chain after that so you can see the difference so it doesn't sit on top as much I mean it does but it would also fall through like that and I want it to stay in one spot this one is going to be moving around I don't want them to move around I want them to be stationary on top of my work so let me show you that over here. So the beads are definitely on one side of the work and they don't fall into the uh, thread. They don't fall into, through the center of the thread. They actually, they're pretty stationary. OK, 
okay that's just my preference if you like them to go through you could do a looser tension or yeah tension and then they would fall through the uh, thread so I'm doing mine a uh, tighter tension so they sit on top okay and then I'll show you okay so I'm gonna finish um, crocheting the beads on I'll show you in a couple more in a minute and then I'll show you how to make the tassel and how to finish your necklace I'm just gonna take that, take out a couple stitches here. Get the tension back. And as you're going, you can you'll probably get a little quicker at it. Just wanted to show you. more beads so I actually you know I have all my beads on here strung on but I don't have them all at the end of where my work is because it would be too much but I do keep a few down closer to my work So once you finish, um, or once I finish crocheting all these beads on to my thread, I'll come back and show you how to finish your, your necklace. Okay, coming around to my last couple of stitches, I'm going to end with two chains. And then I'm going to cut a long tail. Pull that through. So here's how it's looking. And then I'm just going to tie the end together. Just to hold it. Okay. There we go. I'm pretty. Okay, so now to finish the necklace, I have a craft bead. It has a very big eye on it, or or opening. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 17, 18, 19, 20. Just depends on how thick you want it. Your tassel to be. Okay, so I cut it in half. And I'm going to get a, another long piece. Place a knot at the end. Make another knot. I'm just going to run my fingers through it to try to blend it together. Blend the strings together. Kind of shape it so they come together a little more. Yeah. So I'm going to stick my crochet hook into the bead and pull this through the bottom. And then I'm going to stick it back in this way, the opposite way, and pull the strings for this. Up this way. Kind of 
tug on it. And then I'm gonna separate these. I'm gonna pull this back out a little bit. And I'm gonna make a knot around through the center. I'm gonna pull up one of the strings from the tassel. And I'm gonna make a knot. And now I'm going to pull it down a little bit more. Pull that kind of tight. And then make another knot. Okay. And then... back up to the center. Grab those two tails, bring them back down. Okay. And I'm just going to trim it at the bottom. Make it even. Give it a little haircut. There we go. It's better. And there it is. That's all you need to do. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on how to make uh, the necklace with beads. And thank you for tuning in and thank you for watching. If you like this video, Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me at The Purple Poncho. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.